What's up guys, Kevin Gets here from Uprofit. Today, we're talking about figuring out why you want to do whatever it is that you want to do. And this is something that a lot of people don't give enough thought to, and it's something that really affects your motivation because I would wager that 80% of the people who get burned out or who end up depressed when they're trying to be creative is simply because they have not put enough thought into this idea. So I'm going to use a couple personal examples because I think that conveys my point best. Personally, you know, I, I have had this YouTube channel off and on since 2013, I want to say, 2012 maybe, that I was consistently uploading lessons. And then I kept, I kept like losing track of what I was trying to do. I kept just kind of falling off and not uploading for six months to a year. Now, sometimes that was fair because I had other things both creatively and from a business standpoint that I needed to focus on. However, there have been other times where it is legitimately because I cannot bring myself to make a video. <laughs> the reason for that is because I wasn't being true to who I am creatively, mostly. So, you know, I am someone who needs to be multifaceted creatively. I'm someone who needs to be a huge nerd about music marketing and audio engineering and music theory, as well as a technician on my instrument and, you know, whatever else I, I currently am thinking about. That is me. That is all the core facets of what drives me. The problem was that I would tend to restrict myself to just guitar lessons or just songwriting or you know, whatever. And it, so burnout was inevitable at that point because it was only a matter of time before I, I, my brain would inevitably jump to something else that I wanted to focus on or that I was currently obsessing over and I wouldn't be able to carry that into the YouTube channel because the YouTube channel was not um, variety friendly. It is now. And that's, that feels good. That feels better to me than I have felt on YouTube in a very long time. It may not be natural to you. And the reason I'm using this example is that it's it's important to understand why you want to do anything creative that you're doing. So I wish that two years ago I had asked myself why I'm trying to make a point to only upload one video a week on one topic. I don't know why I didn't just go, hey, you know what feels a lot better to me? uploading a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, part of it now is that the YouTube algorithm has changed considerably and you can do this and maybe you couldn't have done it before. I honestly don't know how the algorithm worked in 2013, 2014, as much as I know the 2017 variation. But I think it was just a lack of introspection, a lack of really stopping and analyzing why I'm doing this. It's the same for the kind of music that you write or even why are you writing music in the first place? Or if you're not writing music, why are you playing your instrument in the first place if you don't plan on writing music? <laughs> and that's not meant to sound cynical or defeatist or what's the point. It's literally, what is your point? What do you want to say? What do you want to achieve? Analyze it, isolate it, and then go for it. You can do so much, and all you need is to be aware of what it is that you want to do. It's really that simple. And, you know, I, in a lot of the videos that I've been recording lately, maybe not the ones I've uploaded yet, but in a lot of my recent videos, I end up coming to this same point because it's so common. People will say, oh, but for this reason or that reason, I can't do it. Or, you know, surely you can't do that. Or they're just excuses, excuses, excuses. Don't tell me that you don't have enough money to get started. I didn't either. Don't tell me that you don't have the skill learn the skill. In addition to my channel, which is, I hope, will become a resource for all the facets of an independent musician who aims for success, there are already so many channels on YouTube that cover all the information you could possibly want. Just do some damn research. Come on. Don't tell me that you don't have the time. If you have good time management, you can spare an hour a day and that's all you need. You know, because when I really committed to starting my own music business, I did not even have to try to cut out time wasters. Video games lost their appeal to me. TV shows lost their appeal to me. It was not, oh, I can cut out this vice and then I'll have more time. No, I committed so hard to what I was trying to do that I literally only wanted to do this. I, it was never a fight. It was never, oh, maybe one episode of, well, I don't know, Game of Thrones won't kill me. No, come on. 
and I think this deserves its own video, the dopamine response will rewire itself to the point where the only thing that you find truly fun anymore is winning, is going at what you're trying to do so well and seeing the progress and seeing the success manifesting itself that you don't want to waste your time on something as trivial as a video game. Isolate why you want to do it in the first place, and if it means that much to you, if you have a good why, a good reason, then there is nothing within your own head stopping you from pursuing it with all you have, other than, I suppose, cynicism. But that's my other goal for this channel, is to become living proof that all the things that musicians say are reasons to be cynical, bullshit. I'm already living proof for a good number of those things, but I, I've got some, some way to go. And I hope you guys will come along with me for that journey. Thanks so much for watching. I have new videos on motivation and creative mindsets coming out every Monday, as well as other music lessons coming out every single day, including marketing, instrumentation, songwriting, audio engineering. I aim to make this channel the single destination for anything and everything you need to achieve success in music.